Hello and welcome to my channel. We are finishing off 2020 for reals this time. Very exciting stuff. Come along with me as we do a little hair color and also discuss what I like to do at the end of a year and to start a new year. And it's not to do with any kind of resolutions. We are not making resolutions. That is something that we don't do anymore. So I'm gonna share with you what I like to do, which has worked for me honestly and really changed my life for the better. So let's get into it. All right, so it is horribly rainy and wet and dark outside. Um, still in my pajamas, haven't showered yet, thought this would be a good opportunity to dye my hair again. I did it back in October and it's definitely faded. So if you watch that video, you know I made a couple of mistakes, including not buying enough hair dye. So today, even though my hair is not that long, I don't have one box, but I have two. Smart. We weren't sure about what we were gonna film today because the last week or so, Bruce here, you wanna say hello? Come here, oh, you're going. Come here. Oof. Okay. Bruce here wasn't feeling very good. No. He was just not acting like his normal peppy, feisty little self, so we were a little concerned. Maybe he ate something that didn't agree with him, even though we feed him very specific food and treats and stuff like that, but you never know, they can get into stuff. So we just had to keep an eye on him the last few days, but he seemed, he seemed better today. So that's good. Yeah. So we're gonna dye my hair and as it is New Year's Eve and the new year is upon us, 2020 is ending, I thought we could make a video not about New Year's resolutions because I think that trend has said like it's over. We don't do that anymore. Most people don't really. And instead just talk about what we want to manifest for 2021. Do you want to go up here? Okay. So we're going to talk about what I like to do when a new year begins is I actually just like to set focus on the things that I want to manifest for myself. I do believe in that, even though it sounds hokey or whatever you might think. It's actually just setting a focus on things you want to bring into your life. And there's, I don't believe you just like imagine something and then it happens. That's not how it works, but it's more, oh, definitely more feisty. Um, it's about, setting goals for yourself or like putting out there what you want for yourself in your life. It doesn't have to be very specific. It could be love, it can be independence, it can be, I mean, you can ask for wealth, but I feel like it's more the way that I would do it is that just um, feeling, feeling independent and secure and things like that. And from that, things like finances and stuff would set into place. That's how I like to look at it anyway. So that's what I encourage you to do. A great way to do it is to do a, a vision board or um, that's when you can like have a poster board and cut out images and write, write words and draw things that you want to bring into your life. It's just more about creating that energy so that it allows you to recognize the things that you want. Another way is to just write things down in a journal um, or you can make a video about it. So we are going to also do my hair the way that I did for my curly girl video forever ago. I think this is a couple years ago now. I still follow some of the uh, steps of the curly girl method when I do my hair wavy and not straighten it. I don't straighten it very often at all anymore because you know I just, it's just way too much effort for little return. I do follow some of the steps still the steps do keep my hair healthy. There's been a huge controversy, controversy, controversy um, over Diva Curl hair products. Those are some of the products I mentioned in my, my video forever ago when I started following the Curly Girl method. People were saying Diva Curl was ruining their hair, it was falling out, it was drying it up, it was making it frizzy, it was losing their curls, ruining their lives. So I strongly don't I do not recommend you ever to buy into the marketing and branding of any specific product. Most hair products, most 
makeup lines, most skincare products, like a lot of them use the same stuff, but it's just all about the branding and marketing that makes it appealing. So use your, 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 you know, your rational and logical mind and kind of like scan, pro like look over ingredients and things like that to really evaluate if it's a quality product or not. And you just don't actually need a ton of products to do any kind of hair style, I feel, when it comes down to it. I personally don't really use anything. My scalp is super sensitive. I just use a hypoallergenic shampoo once or twice a week. I do not shampoo every day. I do I shampoo once or twice a week. For conditioner, I use the Olaplex conditioner because I bleached my hair a bunch and it seems to really help with conditioning my hair. Today, I'm going to be using this conditioner and I really like the conditioner that comes in hair color boxes. So, this is what my hair looks like. Uh, um, it definitely still has red in it, but you can see that it's really faded. And I personally don't mind this color. I like how it all faded out, but I also like to start a new year with a new do. So we're gonna get that going right now. So I've already just run a comb through my hair to make sure I don't have any knots. And I feel a lot more confident this time because I actually have enough hair dye. I don't have to panic. So we're just gonna mix up the dye and definitely use the glove. So I wanna kind of share some of the key words and goals and things I wrote down for myself last year because I think that might be helpful in giving you guys some ideas of what you could do. I actually have things written down in a journal, so I'm gonna actually go get that so I will read you verbatim what I put down. Okay, so I have my journal. Now I'm not gonna read you everything because it's a journal, so obviously it's quite personal. But this was from 2019. At the end of the year, I decided to write down some of the things I wanted to focus on to bring into my next year of life. Uh, so just to remind you, if you haven't already seen any of my previous videos, I was newly separated and in the process of getting a divorce. And so, you know, that's kind of just where my head was at when I was writing down these goals. So I like to write down words that kind of describe the things I want to bring into my life. I don't like to be too specific. I like to keep things broad because I don't really know how these things are going to come into my life. For example, um, rather than saying like I want a new job, you know, I will just say that I want to, I want to feel fulfilled or um, satisfied or excited about my career, and that might mean that actually I keep my job, but something in my job changes, or I get promoted, or um, you know, I make some sort of lateral move. So you never quite know how things are going to come into your life. So you don't want to be too specific because then you're closing doors on other opportunities. At least that's just how I see it. I'm a strong believer and I think if 2020 has taught us anything, it's that you cannot really predict uh, what life is going to do and how that's going to change you. Because for example, this year was pretty crazy and intense and I wouldn't wish it again for anybody because of you know obvious reasons, but it actually turned out to not be a terrible year for me personally and you know, um, some pretty amazing things happened, so and I would never have thought that knowing the just the facts about this year So you just never know Okay, hair dye Almost mixed. I'm gonna just mix both of them and then I will be right back because it's taking I literally have gotten it in my eye. I'm gonna go blind. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. I think I, I came into this overconfident because I've already squirted it in my eye socket. So then I'll just finish up with what I wrote last year. Is I also wrote that um, I was having a lot of difficulty sleeping. 
uh, my anxiety, the stress of what was going on in my life. I couldn't sleep through the night. I was waking up constantly and I would stay up super late because I had a hard time falling asleep and it was just awful. So one of the things I wrote down was that I want to sleep easy and peacefully and feel rested and ready to start a new day. And I also put, I want my heart to be open and to feel safe each step of the way, which is kind of nice. But I just meant from by that, that I didn't want to be closed off to, you know, new relationships in the future. But I also wanted to feel safe and secure if I opened up my heart to someone that, you know, they had good intentions and it was a good situation. I'm going to wrap this up and then we'll go back to the living room. <laughs> Okay, so this has already been sitting for about 15 minutes. I made myself a cup of coffee because I actually haven't had any yet today. And I'm just gonna run you through the steps I take to style my hair pretty much on a daily basis. That's gonna be the most gentle and healthy, I think, for your hair to avoid using heat styling tools. So. Big fan of the shower cap. I use this probably three or four times a week when I'm showering because I don't wash my hair. And when I get out of the shower, I still use a microfiber hair towel like this one. So you just tie up your hair and the best thing you can do is like really let your hair dry as long as possible in the hair towel. And now that nobody has anything to do or anywhere to go, just leave it on all day or all night, depending on what you prefer. Mine has the lovely little button. And so I will wrap my hair in this. If you don't wanna buy a microfiber towel, you can just use a t-shirt. That works great, the nice cotton material of a t-shirt. And you can get these a uh, fairly decent price at like your local pharmacy, Winners, Marshalls, drugstores, wherever, Walmart, places like that. When I take my hair out of the microfiber towel, I will run my fingers through it. I will not use a brush or a comb. I'll just run my fingers through it. And if I intend on trying to get a lot of curl or wave out of my hair, then I will put a styling cream in it. So I do not recommend any specific brand or product. Find the one that works best for you, but just kind of a, like a liquid styling cream. <laughs> um, and I squirt about a quarter size amount in my palm, rub that through my hands, run that through my hair, run it through as I detangle, really get the ends and then most of the time i will just put back on my microfiber towel i'll pile all my hair up i'll scrunch it don't forget the scrunch i'll scrunch it for a few minutes and then i'll put my towel back on and let my hair just dry like that for as long as possible when i take it out of the towel i will sometimes it'll be just a little bit slightly wet and usually i'm showering and in the evenings i will just put a hair scrunchie Put my hair in a very high ponytail in the scrunchie with a very soft big scrunchie like this sleep overnight and my hair will look great the next day but for you because uh we don't have all the time in the world i'm actually going to wash out the hair dye and i'm going to use a blow dryer on a very cool setting i'm going to use one of these diffusers attachments that i've had forever and slowly diffuse my hair scrunching 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 and I also like to use a clip to kind of create volume and separate my hair and so that it's got some volume, it's not just all flat and then frizz or curl at the bottom. So that's what we're gonna do. Um, I encourage you this New Year's Eve to create a vision board if you're at home and I'm assuming you have nothing else to do, um, do that or write in a journal, take just 10, 15 minutes of your day even to visualize and and think about the things that you want and you deserve, the changes you want in your life. You don't have to be overly specific. You can if you want to, but just put it out there to the world, to the universe, what you want for this upcoming year. And I'm a strong believer that those things will find their way to you and it will happen for you. So we're gonna have some more coffee and then wash this out and get finished with the hair. Okay, so the color is finally all washed out. That takes so long. Um, next, I'm going to take off my microfiber towel. There's the hair. So I'm going to simultaneously finger comb my hair with a styling cream. So you can't really see it, it's clear, but you can just get any styling cream that works for you, a quarter size, run it through your hands, and then you're going to 
finger comb. Usually I would flip myself upside down, but that's just not gonna work with the camera angle. So I'm just taking my fingers, combing through my hair with the product on there, getting out any of the bigger knots. Thankfully, the conditioner I used made it very easy, so it's not super tangled. So once that's done, I'm just gonna add a little bit more styling cream mix it up on my hands and then I'm going to scrunch, scrunch, scrunch my hair like so. Now if I had nowhere to go and nothing to do, which is generally the case, I would just actually put this back up into my microfiber towel and just let it dry like this. But because uh, I need to finish this video, I'm going to actually use my blow dryer and my diffuser to diffuse and then a clip. So we'll do that now. Okay, so it's mostly dry, so I'm not gonna blow dry it any more than that because it kind of dries it out. So we're gonna be finished there and then we're gonna let it air dry and finish the video. Okay, so this is the final look. It's still, as you can tell, a little bit damp and I love putting a clip in like this on the front of my hair because the longer you can leave it in and let it dry like that, the more volume and lift you're gonna get from the top of your head. So when I, I'm ready to actually do whatever I'm gonna do, I'll take it out and then I have a lot of extra body as you can see. And that is it. So for this New Year's Eve, I strongly encourage you to get dressed up a little bit. Why not? Do your makeup, your hair, whatever makes you feel good. Take a photo, whether it is you're alone, you're with a partner, you're with family. Document the end of this year, the beginning of a new year. Make sure you do some sort of goal setting or just visualizing. <laughs> visualizing. It's so important and it'll set the tone for this upcoming year. Um, I mean, for me and Jeremy tonight, we're just going to have a couple drinks, watch a live stream of our favorite comedians, you know, try and just laugh into the new year. I think that's a good way to kind of kick off 2021, have some, some laughter and some lightness and just feel excited about what's to come. I will be definitely jotting down what I'm hoping to happen for me in the new year and I am a bit superstitious again in a way of not sharing you know what I personally hope for myself it's kind of like when you make a wish on your birthday cake or on a, a shooting star I feel like it's all kind of the same it's all connected just make sure that whatever you choose to do you have it written down somewhere or you create art with it or you make a video you take a photo or something to remind you what you want to happen for you in this upcoming year okay so I'm wishing you guys all the best in 2021 we made it through this year and that's something to be proud of and and we're all stronger because of it so we'll see you next year <laughs>